All right, guys, this is going to be a fun, fun video. Um, got quite a few Rubois Dells to show off that I have picked up over the last year, if not uh, more. Um, I've got six cards here, and uh, yeah, some, some real stunners. Um, might be a longer video, so just uh, sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink, because uh, I'm going to talk a bit about these. So throw some statistics out there, um, pop report stuff, so... Uh, maybe they'll learn a little bit along the way. So first off, we're going to start with the old classic T206. Uh, this is a two and a half. It's got pretty good color. Uh, good registration. Obviously some creasing up there. Um, this card obviously doesn't hold a candle to my four, but it is a, a really good example. I did not have a Piedmont 150 back, so it's a good placeholder. Uh, Jay gave me a great price on this, so I was happy to snap it up. Um, so yeah, T206, this card in particular comes with two different blues. Um, there's like a, this one's kind of in the middle. There's a super dark blue and then there's more of a faded powdery blue. Um, I kind of like the darker blue myself. Uh, this is a great example of just a classic T206 Waddell. Uh, yeah, so two and a half there. Um, next card, same pretty much pose and portrait. This one is a magazine card. So you got these. Um, you, all you had to do, I believe, was send in some something about it. I don't know. Subscribe. I need to look it up more. I, I knew when I bought it. But um, you got these sort of like a redemption for buying the magazine. I don't think they were included in it. You just had to mail something in and they would give it to you. Um, anyways, this is classified as the uh, M116. Uh, these come in two different backs. There's a blue back and a black back. Uh, again, you can see probably the same portrait that they use to uh, style these up. These are all have these kind of weirdish pastel looking colors on them, uh, but I actually really like this set. There's some really good looking cards in there of guys that don't have a lot of issues, so I do want to pick more of these up along the way, but um, the back of these is super cool too. Uh, when you think baseball, think of a sporting life. For 27 years, the recognized authority on all baseball matters. Today it is larger, brighter, and better than ever. Published every Saturday, five cents the copy at all news dealers. Um, again, there's a blue back with a little bit different, uh, it's different wording, different uh, design on the back. So I've heard that the black backs are a bit more rare. Um, so yeah, if you know any more about these, uh, drop a comment below. Always love to learn, but super happy to have this. Quick aside on this uh, card since I'm kind of taking my time anyways. Somehow, I bought this card and it got sent to my old address that I hadn't lived at in uh, over two years, two and a half years. No, actually coming up on three years. So, um, I had to go, the day it got delivered, I was texting Max and just going back and forth, stressing out about it. The day it got delivered, I was like, went by, talked to my old neighbor. They said, luckily, nobody lived there, so I was able to you know, not commit a felony and get my get my mail out. So super stressful situation, but worked out in the end. So I always have a story with this card. But M116 there. Uh, next up, this one actually came from Max. Uh, he upgraded to a little bit nicer one and a half. I want to say maybe it was a two. Um, but this is the oh quick quick aside about pop report. So uh, PSA has graded over six hundred and fifty. Uh, Rue Waddell T206 portraits. Um, so by popularity goes, these are way, way, way more abundant, way more popular. I mean, I got this card for the same price that I paid for this one, right at about 200 bucks. So um, just to give a little bit of comparison, which I think is damn near what I paid for this next one coming up too. Um, SGC has graded the total of 35 M116s and PSA has graded 39. So you're looking at uh, 20, what is that? 20 times, uh, more T206 graded than the M116s, but again, the popularity of them. Uh, so that trend is going to continue in this video, but just, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, next up, we got the E93 standard caramel. This card is absolutely gorgeous. I love this pose. I love the uh, colors on it. Um, man, I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than this. I love this card. Thank you so much, Max. Um, super dark green. Can't ask for a better green there. Get the rube. 
only 20 subjects in this set, so, you know, I had to pick the best players back in the day. Narrow it down, there's uh, Waddell, Wagner, Cy Young, Lajway, you name it, uh, Cobbs in there. But I love this card. Um, PSA has graded a total of 56 E93s, and SGC has graded 61. So, again, 10 times more uh, Tito 6 than these. Max, I don't remember what I paid for this card from you, but, uh, man, man, I love it. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that one. Uh, gosh, that was probably a year ago I bought that now. <laughs> I'm so behind on mail. Let me throw that one out of the way. I'm still working on my lighting, guys. I, I got to get a, uh, one of the little lighting boxes. Um, no, that's going back on. It's amateur hour over here today. Anyways, uh, next one I got from uh, good buddy Joe, who uh, super collects Waddell. I don't want to throw my name into that hat yet. Um, I do have quite a few issues, but uh, Joe has some absolutely, hands down, the best Waddell collection out there. I'd be challenged and very shocked if somebody could beat him. Uh, next one, though, I got from him. He shot me uh, the offer on this card before he listed it elsewhere. Forever grateful for that. Um, it is the E91 Set A. Got to get this switched over to uh, SGC. I'm just sort of afraid it won't cross to a 2. I think it's probably a 1.5 from them. Uh, I don't know. I think they're they're always a bit more, a bit tougher on cards. Um, a bit more honest than PSA. So that's all I'll say about that. Uh, but this is a beautiful card. Super happy to have it. The uh, set was issued, I believe, in three different parts. So set A, B, and C. Uh, basically after set A, they used about three different stock photos for everybody. So like even the Christy Mathewson is using the, the, uh, Rube Waddell picture. So obviously you can tell this is Rube, but, uh, I believe it's Mathewson <laughs> and he's, you know, throwing left-handed basically. So I always thought that was odd. Uh, basically after set A, they're not as attractive, but, uh, PSA has only graded 13 of these and SGC also only 13. So, uh, what is that? Right at... 30 times uh, more Tito 6 than this card in population. Back super cool also, Baseball Caramels. This card is one of a set of 33 baseball players consisting of New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago baseball teams, one of which is wrapped with every baseball caramel. So, again, this was a candy issue. That also, obviously, a candy issue. And then that was a magazine. That's tobacco. So... That's certainly not going to work. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it stayed. So anyways, I got two more cards. Can't believe this video is already eight minutes because um, these next two deserve uh, ten minutes each on their own. First one up, super happy to win this. 1910 Sovereign Cigarettes, Rubel Adele Thrilling. Throwing pose is great. It's probably one of the better non-portrait Hall of Fame uh, action poses in the set, in my opinion. Look at that beautiful green background there. Uh, the 150 is pretty tough to get no matter what in any subject, but uh, for this card in particular, it's pretty much an even pop report. I forgot to look it up, but I wanna say there was only around 15 sovereigns graded, but just a beautiful card. This is a very, very good three. Minimal creasing, color's great, centering is good, registration, very good. Uh, just love it, love this card. Incredibly thankful to have it. Oh, yeah. We're going to knock stuff down. Uh, and the very last one, I hate that I had to rush towards the end, but, uh, you know, not many people are going to watch a 10-minute video. Um, but seriously, do yourself a favor. If you don't know who Rube Waddell is, look him up. He's my favorite player in the set. The next card is uh, probably my favorite card in the set. Just an absolutely uh, eccentric individual. Um, you won't find a crazier player, I may venture even to say person that's ever been around the game, um, but the important thing is Rube died a hero, and uh, truly uh, a gift to baseball, so this next one, man, what a grail piece this is, uh, Sovereign Cigarettes, this was an upgrade, thanks to uh, Stan, I was able to get this, um, so I, I think what I really love about this is that I've got, you know, four or five different people, not just some random eBay dudes that have helped me acquire a lot of these. And uh, Rube's always been a special player, a card I've really always enjoyed. So uh, 
really, really dark blue on this one. Uh, this, this one particularly blows my old three out of the water. It was a PSA three. Back on it is super bold. I mean, man, this must have been one of the first ones that came off the plate. So if you look at this one, for example, I mean, it's like double the boldness over here. I love it. Love this card. Can't stop looking at it. Probably my favorite card in my T206 collection currently, uh, and probably will remain that way until uh, I get an old mill or a Sovereign 150 one of these days. Um, but just love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've got some more Rube stuff coming back from uh, SGC, but uh, that is all I've got. Thanks for watching. Peace out.